What's going on, guys? My name is Tim Ruswick, and today I thought I would talk a little bit about my experience uh, streaming, and more specifically, like, some of the pros and cons of actually streaming your game development live. Because I see, I see people on Twitch, I see it's getting a lot more popular uh, to stream creative stuff and game development and that kind of thing on Twitch and on YouTube. Um, and I've had a couple of people ask me about it, like uh, about streaming, especially like as an introvert, like, you know, getting on camera and having a bunch of people watch you do your thing. Uh, so I thought I'd talk a little bit about it, talk about some of the pros and cons and some of the things that I've uh, learned while doing it and hopefully shed some light on it for you guys to see uh, if it's for you. So uh, number one, the the first immediate pro that I just have to get out of the way is when you hit that stream button and people are watching you there is no more netflix or youtube or anything you got to get to work um for me i think this is the primary benefit out of anything that i do like it surpasses the marketing benefit it surpasses the uh community benefit like i love community i'm all about marketing but if I, there's a button on my computer where i can literally be productive for four hours i'm all about that button so that alone is is one of the craziest things about streaming so finish friday man every time we go into it, especially with some of these latest projects every time we go into finish friday i have no idea how we're going to come out on the other end of that with a finished game but we do because in those four hours i'm ridiculously productive like i got a bunch of people watching me make a game i got to make a game there's no netflix there's no youtube there's no you know getting lost on some random bunny trail on the internet it's just you and your audience and getting to work. So um, that I definitely think is benefit number one. Benefit number two is 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 the sense of community, I think. Um, there's something that really cool happens when, and I guess this is probably the same with posting videos and stuff too, but one of the things that I noticed that I really, really like is that my keyboard's messing up. Um, doing videos and streaming, uh, my personality comes out on camera. And so people interact with me on stream and I talk to them, they talk to me. And so they really feel like they know me, which means that the bond that we have in a way is almost, it's way closer than like I could get via email or if I added them as a friend on Facebook or whatever. It's like, they feel like they know me even though they never met me. And I feel the same way with some of these guys because I interact there on my stream every day. Every Friday or whenever I see them on my YouTube comments, they're in our Discord chat. Like, I feel like I know these guys, right? So the sense of community is really great, and that's a big part of streaming. And I think uh, personally, like, the personal benefit of having other people feel like they know you makes them a little more open, I think, and a little more open to connect with you and kind of uh, hang out, which is, which is kind of cool. So community is a big part of it. Um, and number three, I think there's, there is a marketing value to that. I think it kind of ties into community. Uh, but someone is watching you build something online, right? So they're probably either they're there for you or they're there for your project. And if they're there for you, they're going to like your project anyway, because they, they like you, right? It doesn't really matter what they may not play the game. They may not be super into whatever kind of game you're making, but they're probably down to hang out with you so they like your project so it does kind of work in 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 a marketing type of way i guess so it that's always a benefit um when you're first starting out that benefit's not really going to be there because it's going to be hard to even get viewers at all like especially if you're just brand new to twitch you don't have an audience you don't have anything you just hit start streaming like you're lucky if one or two dudes pop in uh on twitch so it, it takes a long time to ramp up but once you get there, um, you know, that's that's pretty powerful to have people watching you and investing in your development and, and being uh, being so invested in your game or your project or you that they want to watch you build the thing. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'll talk about some of the struggles. So as an introvert, um, you know, people just aren't always my thing. You know, I, I, I talk a lot about how I've overcome some of the struggles in my life where I used to just have extreme social anxiety and just freeze up in social situations and not talk and mumble and like just go silent and all that. 
And I've gotten past a lot of that for the most part. I still struggle with this stuff. But I've noticed that streaming, going online, even though, you know, the the viewers are not in the same room as I am, uh, it's exhausting. It's mentally exhausting. So for me to interact with people the whole time um, kind of like drains me the same way that going to a party would or, or going to an event or something like that. Um, it may not be, see, be the same for extroverts, but I did notice that there's like definitely – uh, a um, a draw on my power level, if you will. But that being said, uh, may, and maybe this is just finished Friday. I don't know if this would apply to most game development streams, but because we finish a project every Friday, um, the energy that I get and the excitement that I get from actually finishing and publishing a project seems to massively outweigh the uh, the the drain from the interaction from the the being online. So that was kind of cool for me. Like there's been a couple streams where, <coughs> excuse me, in the beginning, like one of the first streams, the Ludum Dare stream, like, man, I, I put 15 hours into that and I was, I was dead because that was the first stream I ever did on the channel. Um, but it's gotten, it's definitely gotten easier since I've been doing it every single Friday. Um, and my energy level has been going up and up and up for the past couple weeks as we've been finishing these projects. And as we end up with crazy projects that I never thought we'd finish on stream, we actually do it. So that's been kind of cool to see. Um, I don't know if it'll apply to like longer term projects and stuff, but it's definitely worth worth looking at. Um, <clears throat> it's emotionally draining, but at the same time, it's like charging when people are interacting with you and you got, you're hanging out with friends basically. Um, and everybody's, you know, happy and they're looking at your project and helping you out and they're giving you suggestions and all that stuff. So I think it's a pro and a con. It's definitely hard to get started if you're an introvert, especially. So I would keep that in mind, but it does get easier over time. <clears throat> um, and lastly, I think a lot of people, they look at this the wrong way. So I kind of want to wrap the, the video up and kind of say that like, I don't feel like streaming or YouTube videos in itself is a business. So if you're looking at it to do like a business and actually start making money and start getting donations and stuff and and go that route, it's going to be really hard, man. It's going to be really, really, really hard. I think it's a great tool to maybe get yourself focused, maybe um, get your game out there a little bit. Uh, like, you know, again, that's hard to start out from scratch, but if you have an audience or you have a couple people and or you're willing to put in the dedication for six months to a year you can definitely build an audience um <clears throat> but i think it, it's really going to come down to what you want to do with it for me i use it as a community building tool and as a uh a productivity tool and it, man does it work well for both of those um i've gotten way closer with my community with all my subscribers with everybody in the discord through streaming at the same time, I'm like super productive while I'm live on stream. So those are the main reasons that I do it. Um, I don't see myself ever doing it like as a job or anything. I don't think I would want to, I wouldn't want to try that. Um, I'm perfectly happy with, with how I, uh, take care of that now. So it's, there are trade-offs, there are pros and cons. I hope I shed some light on it for you. I hope, um, I could, enlighten you a little bit if you got any questions or anything like that let me know in the comments down below i would love to answer them for you um once again i'm tim Roswick, and i will see you tomorrow <laughs>